Well tonight we're going to throw that 144 skid in the Snow Pro see if we got to do any tunnel extending. I have a feeling we're going to need to. But if it's close and only a little hokey we're definitely going to leave it. Alright, hit our first snag on the, uh, the 144 kit. Honestly, I'm surprised we made it this far before hitting our first snag. Cutting the track went really well. Um, the skid wasn't a big deal. I just found a 144 skid. Had to do a little bit of welding on that. And actually, I put the front, um, front suspension arm from the Snow Pro skid on that for reasons I can explain later, but first official snag there's your bracket for your um, 128 skid but this is where <laughs> the uh, extra length starts to show I guess and I figured we'd run into something like this. I didn't bother putting a tape measure or even laying the skid side by side to see if the whole locations lined up. Which is fine. Whatever. Um, looks like there's some holes there pre-drilled. I almost wonder if this darn thing didn't have something like this on there already. The tunnel's got some holes in it already that look like they very easily could have been used as a bracket for <laughs> well look at that it lines up pretty good get these six holes there so no big deal we'll get a bracket made up um, I wondered if we weren't gonna have clearance issues with the two inch paddle in the coolers and or the top of the tunnel but everything seems to be happy there which is awesome. Um, interesting thing will be figuring out my bracket uh, so that I get a a proper angle of attack. I don't really know shit about riding in deep powder, so I don't know if you want your track climbing uphill. So you're always clawing at as much new snow as possible, or if you want it laid flat because that might float better. I don't know. If you got an idea, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna just end up learning the hard way. To be honest with you, I'd probably put it at kind of a steeper angle. I'd end up throwing that down like that. Um which will pull the front end of the front end of the skid up as in relation to the back and I guess put more ski pressure down but the only reason I do that first is that's exactly what we're doing with shit on the ice is sucking the front of the skid up I don't know if that's right in powder or not I'm sure there's probably a better balance and some different science around it, but I don't know shit about it. That's okay. Though. But no. Skidoo track fit right in there. Lines up nice. Cut it down using a, a jigsaw. That went really well. Got a video up of that. Um, yeah, this is no big deal. You just have to make a bracket. Sweet.